In this short video, we'll take a look at our Instant VM Recovery feature. Instant VM Recovery allows us to simply power on a virtual machine from the deduplicated and compressed backup. I'll simply come up to my Restore button, choose my Instant VM Recovery option. I can then choose exactly which server it is that I need to recover, and of course have different points in time that I want to recover from. I do have a couple different options here, so I'm going to choose to restore this with different settings than just restoring the original virtual machine in case I need to be able to keep the original one on disk as well. All I need to do here is choose to rename the, the virtual machine that I'm powering on because the original one is still in place and also have the ability to choose exactly which host I want to run this virtual machine on. Now we are running this from a backed up uh, version of the, of the virtual machine, however we will use resources, meaning CPU and memory, from the host itself. So I'm going to come in here and choose my Instant VM Recovery's resource pool, so that makes it very easy for us to see when we go to recover that. And I'm going to power that on automatically, but notice that it does ask me to make sure that the original server is powered off, although I am not going to connect the VM to the network, so that will not be a problem. I don't have to worry about IP conflicts or contention. So we're just going to wait a, about a minute or less and we're going to have that instant VM powered on inside of my virtual infrastructure and you can see it has been recovered successfully and if you add up these times you're looking at about 20 seconds or so. So let me go ahead and hit finish. I'm going to go over to my vSphere client and you'll notice under my instant VM recovery resource pool there is the virtual machine that I just did an instant VM recovery on. Again this is running from the deduplicated and compressed backup that is on my disk based target that I've chosen to put my backups on. So now I can just simply right click on this and I can open up the console and usually within about two minutes or less we'll have a login prompt for our operating system. And there we go. Now I'm at a login prompt of my virtual machine. This just happens to be a uh, Windows 2008 R2 machine. And within less than two minutes or so, I was able to power this on, get it up to a login prompt. This allows my users to get access to that particular server so that they can continue doing their job. Now a couple different options that we do have once you do an instant VM recovery. You'll notice that it does show up in my software as an instant recovered mounted virtual machine. If I right click on that I could you know, go back and fix the original virtual machine which means I could stop publishing this just and understand that you will in fact lose the changes that have taken place since we did a virtual machine uh, uh, instant VM recovery. Or if I wanted to I could also migrate that to production.